Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we got another Lego Harry Potter years 5 through 7 video for you. This one happens to be for level 4 creature discomfort story. We're going to get a level trophy achievement for simply completing it called Did Santa Eat That Cake? Santa? What? This is Harry Potter. And uh, hey, we got two wizard requirement of 60k, and we're also going to get a couple of gold bricks as kind of some bonus hubba bubba action. Speaking of hubs, we're here in the hub running through Hogwarts right now. In fact, we're following nearly headless Nick to our next destination, which is going to be uh, the classroom. Uh, I'm not exactly sure which one this is, so I won't try and act like I do. But look at this. We got to use Loomis to get through because we got some uh, crazy, I don't know what this is, some sort of a, a vine. And uh, not like the vine you uh, spend a lot of time watching funny videos on, but like a, a pesky vine. And oh, shh, cutscene! Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> All right, it's time to learn Defundo. Hope I'm saying that right. Uh, I could be wrongo, but hopefully I'm saying it right Oh, Anyhow, uh, we, look at this. We have destroyed this red brick. So this Defendo is uh, certainly pretty cool because it'll destroy the red bricks. And also, look at this. We get to play connect the dots. La, la, la. Connect the dots. Oh, gold brick. Look at that. We've got a gold brick going already. That's pretty awesome. And we're going to go ahead and build up the remaining bits that we carved out from the wall here and check it out. We actually checked off one of three items needed. So uh, my guess is we've got two more items of red. You've got red on you that we actually were going to have to go ahead and uh, take care of. So what's this here? We've got uh, a red wall in the back. We've got some stuff we can levitate with Leviosa. But uh, hey, wait a minute. What's going on here? We can't quite get over this wall of, I guess it's just a bunch of rubbish. But hey, wait a minute. What's going on here? We got a flag. No, that's not going to help us. Uh, what do we got here? OK, so what happens if we destroy this red box? Oh, we got some bricks to build up, do we? Oh, what did they build? Oh, we got, uh, okay, this is pretty cool, huh? Let's, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, make it, uh, ooh, let's move it around. Oh, we got a, oh, it's a sailboat! Oh, it's a schooner! Oh, look at that! Uh, we have officially made a mess over on the other side of the room, but hey, the, the wind from our, I guess it was a flapping flower, or maybe a fan. I always thought it was a flower, but it looks more like a fan, I guess, now that I think about it. But it has blown the sailboat over, and we have been able to rebuild the damaged sailboat into a vacuum? That's pretty crazy. And uh oh, we get to go Pee Wee Herman again. Connect the dots! La la la! <laughs> Alright, I don't know, my Pee Wee Herman's a little bit off. I haven't uh, been working on it lately uh, for, for good reason. He's probably been out of the limelight for quite a while, other than the Netflix special he did, which was awesome. If you don't, if you missed it out on Pee Wee Herman in your childhood, uh, you could certainly watch it on uh, many different platforms, but I highly recommend it. It's funny, and he's a funny guy. Anyhow, uh, all right, we have manipulated the red bricks that were left over down below into a staircase, got upstairs, and of course we got a couple of pieces. One completed the side tube, and one completed the upsy-downsy tube. I know that didn't really make a whole lot of sense, but there's two pieces of tube, and we got to add them in there, and oh, look at that. We have a red lock there, so no more locked doors. We've gone ahead and taken it out with Defendu. I'm not actually sure if all three of these guys have the ability of Defendu, Defendo, or if it's just Harry, but uh, oh, look at that. We sent old Crookshanks through after Harry took care of that red lock for us, and of course, uh, that got rid of the barrier here, which takes us to the third and final red wall. We're gonna go ahead and play Connect the Dots one more time. La, la, la. And look at that, we've carved out a fish. We've got some bricks on the ground, and we can go ahead and build them, even though they weren't bouncing around. It was kind of weird, huh? Uh, so far, so good on the game functioning like it should. I know that there's been some glitches and some things that didn't function early, but uh, look at that. Defendo unlocked, and we'll go ahead and add it to our arsenal. Oh, and we'll add a gold brick, too. So that's two already, and uh, that's all that we promised you, except for the level completion gold brick, which we'll do once we complete the level. That, that's what's weird. I, I look forward to the free play. You know, when I, when I first started sitting down with Doug, and I was like, oh my gosh, there's 24 levels of this, too. Oh. That means 24 stories, 24 free play, then of course free roam, and any leftover trophy. Starting to do the math going, holy cow, this is going to be another large playlist. 
And then I remembered how small the free play actually is. So that's kind of uh, reassuring as we make our way through Hogwarts following Nearly Headless Nick. We come to a red wall, which we were previously unable to get through. But check it out. We've actually removed it and built it up into a candle. Okay, that's pretty cool. We didn't even light it up or nothing. That was very impractical. But hey, we're going to keep on keeping on and follow Nearly Headless Nick on through the courtyard. And oh, look at this. Now we're outside. Such a lovely day. Oh, we're going right back inside. Oh, so much for that. But wait, are we inside or outside? It's hard to tell. Actually, we're still outside. But we're outside the grounds, though, too. This is kind of scary. We're in scary territory. And all right. Oh, I know where we are. This is where we came in. I remember this. Wow, that means we're getting close to old Hogsmeade. That's right. We're actually going to uh, find ourselves at the old train station here in a hot second. Oh, that was a weird camera angle switcheroony. And, oh, we got to follow nearly... Oh, another red wall. Hey, wall, you've got red on you, too. And, oh, get out of here. Caw, caw. Got lots going on here. We're just trying to play on through to the other side. And check it out. We've got... What is that? I'm not even sure. It looks kind of like a stealth bomber. Or something. I, I'm not sure what it is, but check this out. I was pretty excited. Now, this wasn't nearly as cool as it would have been a couple of weeks ago, you know, prior to Wave 6 of LEGO Dimensions, where they actually had the Hogwarts Express uh, build, which, hey, this build actually looks a little bit cooler than the build that came with LEGO Dimensions Harry Potter Team Pack. Or no, Lo yeah, Team Pack. Team Pack? Fun. Whatever pack it was. Uh, <laughs> anyhow, uh, we finally made it on to the train station grounds here. We've hopped on, and it's actually going to take us on into a cutscene, so enjoy. Choo choo! <laughs> Ta-da! Hey, we're inside, and hey, look at that, there's Santa floating around. What are you doing there, Santa? Oh, and a dancing toyki, too. All right, so what do we got going on here? We got a whole bunch of stuff, actually. And really, there's only one thing of importance right now, and I've totally overlooked it, and I apologize for that. There's actually a door on the left-hand side of the room, kind of towards the front left side of your screen there. And we're going to have to use Leviosa on it to go ahead and open the door. And actually, uh, we're going to use the pieces from inside to build it up into an oven. And inside that oven, we're going to bake ourselves a cake. And here in a hot second, literally, we're going to find ourselves the door. Okay, wait, wait, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, there she blows. We're going to go ahead and open it up. And look at that. There's the pieces as promised. We're going to go ahead and build those guys up into the old oven and set the timer for, uh, well, about five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, to the yeah. Look at that. We got ourselves a cake. And look at this. Apparently, uh, you know, Santa usually likes milk and cookies. But uh, in this particular case, he likes himself some cake. And look at that. He dropped us the needed handle in order to open the door. And when we open the door, we find Creature inside. And he takes off running and actually activates a guard knight. I don't know, really know what we want to call this guy, but he's a uh, not, he's, he's kind of a pain. He's just really in our way. Just go ahead and target him, knock him down, and go ahead and advance up the stairway. And once we get up here, we actually see Creature do a little bit of a teleportation trick. Now you see me, now you don't. Oh, and he also turned the stairs off. That's right, he turned them off. I was unaware that you could actually turn stairs off, but in this case, he did. And uh, basically, it's like a giant slide right now. We have no way to get up there. And we'll find a way, I promise, I promise. It actually has to do with, wait for it, mm, nope, not that. Uh, we actually have to play with the uh, little items on the stair there. There's three different heads of the old elves, or house elves, I believe is what they're called. And uh, we gotta switch them around using Leviosa, one, two, three, all the way up. And once you get up there, you find yourself at the top of the stairs, and look at this, we have this, uh, I'm not sure who that is. It's not, it's not Dolores. Uh, 
I should know who that is, but I don't. But we're going to switch to Hera, and we're going to use the Cloak of Invisibility to get on across. And once we get over here, we're going to bust open this cabinet, which actually has the pieces needed to build up into the left side. Uh-oh, we got a little too close there. But it builds up the left side of the drapes here. And unfortunately, we can't tug that side. We have to tug from the left. And once we do, look at that. Oh, we closed this, and which way did she go? Which way did she go? She can't see us anymore, which gives us the ability to get across. And we're going to use Hermione over here. I believe she's the only one that can access these little memory stations here. But we're going to go ahead and follow the pattern indicated. And once it is successfully completed, it actually opens up and pukes out a door handle. Blech. Look at that, we've grabbed the handle, and now we're going to go ahead and take it on downstairs, because that's the last place we, well, I guess this isn't the last place we saw a creature, but we know we can get on through, through here, so, oh, time to get serious. Boy, Ron took that right in the kissa, didn't he? All right, well, we have uh, returned here, and you can see we actually have control of Hera as well as Sirius. And uh, I am Sirius, and don't call me Harry. Oh, that didn't work out as well as it might. <laughs> Little old airplane technology or laughology for you. Speaking of technology, we have uh, mixed the wrong colors up on the wall there, which uh, doesn't go in our favor. In fact, uh, what we need to do here is, well, we're actually matching. This is like uh, like the Hermione matching station, but this one was for Hera. And we're going to go ahead and do that. We actually find one of the pieces needed for the main puzzle on the left-hand side. But at this point, I realize, whoopsie, I actually put the wrong colors in the wrong places. So uh, I'm going to start off. As you can see, there is each of the little tiles there has a little bit of a color tint to it. Uh, one being blue, one being yellow, and one being red. We're going to go ahead and match those colors to the frames on the wall. And uh, now we actually have two more pieces needed for the main puzzle on the left. So we're going to go over to this clock, and uh, look at that. We have manipulated time. It's almost like time travel, but not quite. And we're going to go ahead and pick up the piece that it dropped for us, which happens to be the bottom left piece, which I struggled to get on the board there. Ooh, a bluesy. And, uh, well, last but not least, we've got one more item, and wherever could it be? i got to be honest, it took me a second to figure it out. And, oh, I manipulate that a little bit, but that's not it. Or is it? No, it's not. It actually happens to be this little pot over here on the table we're gonna go ahead and knock it over and look at that oh we've got ourselves a little digging pile i'm not sure what that is we got to dig through but it it's telling us that we can switch to pad foot with sirius and that will allow us to dig so it's kind of like uh, pulling out old crook shanks very similar but completely different and look at that pad foot can dig up the last piece needed we can go ahead and pick it up with a leviosa and drop it on the bottom right side and booyaka shawoo We've officially completed the puzzle. Now we got to stand in the hot spot and wave our wand around, and you guessed it. Oh, look at that. We have found ourselves a little escape hatch. So we can go ahead and put that up on the wall. Looks nice there. And booyaka show! Hmm. Admit, I liked how that newspaper had a lot of Lego on it. Oh, and look at that. Level complete and free play unlock. We also get the trophy achievement. Did Santa eat the cake? 
I think that's what it was. Or did Santa eat that? I, uh, whatever it was. Uh, we got it. Yay! We also fell short of the True Wizard stud requirement, but we did get that gold brick for completing the level, which actually takes us to 9 out of 200. So we haven't really made much of an effort other than just playing through the story parts, and we're already well on our way to those 200 gold bricks. <laughs> <laughs> That's me being optimistic. We've got 9 out of 200. we got a long ways to go. But, hey, we'll be here for most, if not all, of the journey for you guys. And, hey, if you guys have any questions or things like that, uh, we definitely want to hear from you. But, uh, hey, you know what this screen means. That's going to wrap it up for LEGO Harry Potter years 5 through 7, level 4 creature discomforts. And, uh, yeah, it was the story. We'll be back for free playage to get all those collectibles. And, uh, as I was saying about our social pages, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, or simply leave your comment down below below of course we'd love to hear from you thumbsies upsies or downsies but uh, we do ask that if you give us a thumbs down you drop us a comment and let us know how we can improve uh, that's that's the that's the goal there is to get better and do the best that we can and with your feedback I think we can reach that so oh to the yeah and oh by the way hey thumbs down bandit we see you we know what's going on we get your point move along now people nothing to see here as for me, that's going to wrap it up for now. As always, until next time. Do -do 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 -do.